Hi friends, our today's topic is ratio and proportion and in this lecture we are going to learn some of the very important question which will be frequently asked in your exam. Now the question is the ratio of marks obtained by Binodan Basu is 6 is to 5. So the marks of Binod and Basu is in the ratio of 6 is to 5, right? If I will uh, write in terms of value then Binod will score 6x marks and Basu would have scored 5x marks, right? Okay. And then they are telling the total uh, and their sum of the marks is 275. So sum of the marks means 6x plus 5x is nothing but 275, right? And this will be 11x is equal to 275 and x will be 275 divided by 11 which is nothing but 25. So we know this code how much of marks 6 into 25 is equal to 150 and Basu is code 5 into 25 is nothing but 125 marks right. So see this sentence is clear the ratio of the marks obtained by Binod and Basu is 60 to 5 and their sum of the marks is 275 this is also clear. Now if the combined average of their percentage is 6 68.75 means the combined average of their marks. So combined what is the average? So the average is 150 plus 125 divided by 2 which is nothing but 275 by 2 which is nothing but 137.5 right. So the combined average of their marks is 68.75 percentage right. So you have to find out the total marks. So 68.75 percentage is equals to 137.5 then what is 100% right. So I can write it like this 68.75 percentage is nothing but 137.5. So one percentage will be 137.5 divided by 68.75 is 100% will be 137.5 divided by 68.75 into 100 right. So this will go by two times and the total marks will become 200. So the total paper for which Binod wrote the exam was 200 right. See if in the same question if they are asking find the total marks for which Binod and Basu both wrote. So Binod and Basu both wrote means 200 and plus 200 then it the answer will be 400. But for this question they are asking find the total marks for which the exam was conducted. conducted. If they are asking for the Binod then it is 200 alone. If they are asking for the Basu alone then it is 200. If it is combined means 400. So your answer will be 400 if it is combined for both Binod and Basu. Right? Question number 2. If the ratio of land and water on earth is 1 is to 2 and in the northern hemisphere it is 2 is to 3, what is the ratio of land to water in the southern hemisphere? So suppose this is earth. It is divided in two part northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere right. So in earth land and water is 1 is to 2 ratio right and in northern hemisphere land and water is in 2 is to 3 ratio then they are asking the ratio of land and water in southern hemisphere right okay. So in earth land to water ratio is 1 is to 3 so I can also say the value of land will be x and the value of water will be 2x right this is in terms of value and total land plus water on earth is 3x right 2x plus x is 3x right. So this only will be divided in two parts in northern hemisphere and in southern hemisphere. So land plus water on earth is 3x by 2 so in northern it will be 3x by 2 and in southern it will be 3x by 2 because it will be divided in northern and southern hemisphere right ok. Now in northern hemisphere, in northern hemisphere land to water ratio is 2 is to 3 right. So total value if I will calculate the amount of land then the total is 3x by 2 into land is what 2 and divide by total so 2 by 5 so it will be 3x by 5. What about water? Water will be total is 3x by 2 into what is the value of water? 3 divided by total is 5. So this will be 9x by 10 right. So this is amount of land and water in the 
northern hemisphere right now what is the total land the total land was 1x and how much land amount of land is in northern hemisphere 3x by 5 if you will subtract it will be 5x minus 3x that means 2x by 5 this will be the amount of land and what will be the amount of land in southern hemisphere see the total is 2x and how much is in the northern hemisphere 9x by 10 so 10 minus 2 is 20 20 minus 9 is 11x by 10 right so this is your amount of land and water in southern hemisphere and now you have to tell the ratio from here so 2x divided by 5 is equals to 11x divided by 10 right now 5 and 10 lcm will be what 10 xx anyway will cancel so 10 into 2 divided by 5 is equals to 11 into 10 and divide by 10 so 10 and 10 will get cancelled 5 2 times so that means the ratio will be 4 is to 11 so land and water ratio in southern hemisphere will be 4 is to 11 thanks for watching the video